Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, several videos ago I done a, a video on farm safety of, or tractor safety about hooking hooking implements up, pinch points, what to look out for, etc, uh, etc, etc. Et uh, today I'm going to do the second part of that video, or second part of that, and talk a little bit about the tractor itself. Now, uh, first of all, a little history. I almost flipped this one once, and I almost flipped this one twice. Uh, two different scenarios. This one, I was mowing a very steep hayfield, and I was coming down a hill like this, and I turned left and broke this tire off the rim. When I did that, the tractor cocked up. Mowing machine was on the low side. I was in a bit of a pickle. But I turned it back around, got squared up, uh, went and got the supplies, aired the tire back up, and kept mowing. So uh, that was an issue there. On this one, once again, I was mowing hay. And uh, had the mowing machine on this side. And it was a steep bank like this if, if you can see my hand I was mowing down backing up and, and just cutting out a ditch is what I was doing and uh, I rocked it up on two wheels this side and uh, I let the mowing machine down got it corrected got it straightened back up I done that twice two different years you'd think I would learn but I didn't uh, this tractor does not have front end loader on it so uh, we've got hit ballasted with weights and the tractor is real good balance in other words it's a lower center of gravity it's got a smaller tire on it it is a little less it, it, it it's a little more stable on a hillside now i don't have the wheels set all the way out all the way around because i still use these tractors for row crops and i can't widen them on out this one even without the loader you've got the cab uh it's taller tires it's a little uh it's a little higher center of gravity now the concern with this one is when you put that loader on it it changes the center of gravity uh there's no weights these rear tires are fluid filled but there's no weights on the rear of this tractor if you don't have an implement back here a sizable oh pretty heavy implement uh anything on this front end loader is gonna make this thing nose heavy now, one of the big concerns with the loader is when you get that loader up high, that is definitely going to change the center of gravity on this tractor, make it much easier to tip over. So if I'd had a loader on that tractor when I broke that tire off the rim and had it up, it would have probably flipped that tractor. It didn't. I was fortunate there. I was fortunate here. Uh, another thing. Uh, both times I was on pieces of ground that was probably too steep to have a tractor on and be working. And uh, that would get you killed. Now, let's talk uh, center gravity. I mean, if you take the loader off, the tractor's pretty balanced. Uh, but then again, you put the heavy set of disc cars on the back, it may get a little light in the front. So, you know, if you're going up a hill and it's sidling like this, the front may want to come up and come over on you. So uh, maintaining that center of gravity is key. The issue with the front end loader is if you're going to put the loader on and leave it on, you can then balance the tractor to the loader. In other words, you know, you can put some weights on the rear wheels, which I would like to have a set for this and anyhow, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, try to get it balanced off. But when I do tillage work with this tractor, that loader comes off because I don't want that loader beaten on the front end or on the loader as I'm going through the field and it makes for a rougher ride so uh, that that's a couple things to keep in mind now let's talk about the front manual front wheel assist or the four wheel drive or manual front wheel drive whatever you want to call it all right on a farm tractor you do not have front brakes on a two wheel drive tractor the only braking is here so if you start down a steep hill and these rear wheels go to sliding and you slam on the brakes, they're just going to continue to slide 
and you can't stop it. You can drop your implement in the back and try to do this or that or whatever to uh, drag it. Okay. SD card filled up with me there a little bit, so I had to uh, get that taken care of. But anyhow, so if you start off a hill and you get to sliding, uh, now if you've got the manual front wheel assist, or manual front wheel drive, or four wheel drive engaged, it does help with that. And if the back tires and the front tires are coupled together and you hit the brakes, you get braking action on the front tires. You still do not have front brakes. But you will get some braking action on them and uh i've had that argument with a lot of people before but trust me i have tested that theory and it is correct let it slide a little bit but uh the biggest thing on a tractor keep all four tires on the ground the dirty side down and you'll be um you'll be good remember that center of gravity and the balance of the tractor because once you start getting any of the four corners light, you're getting in trouble. Uh, just be careful. Use your head. Use some common sense. Think about what you're going to do before you do it. And don't be, don't be too brave and don't be too scared. Because if you're too scared, you'll panic, panic and do something you probably shouldn't and probably get hurt there too. So, if you like what we're doing, uh, pretty dry day today. If we had another day of sun and wind, I might be able to plow, but they're calling for five inches of snow tomorrow. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you see a video you like, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment, please do so. And until the next time, everyone, take care of yourself. Be careful on your tractors. Talk to you later. Bye.